السلام علیکم ون پی ایم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دا نیوز ریڈ بائی عائشہ غازی فرسٹ دی ہیڈ لائنس بریٹن ہیز اکنالج پاکستان ایکسٹرا آرڈینری اچیومنٹس ان کاؤنٹرنگ ٹیررزم SEO Council of Heads of Government at their meeting in Dushanbe today discussed ways to enhance cooperation amongst member countries. In occupied Kashmir, complete shutdown is being observed today to pay homage to martyred eminent scholar Dr. Manan Wani. Turkey and Saudi Arabia have agreed to set up a joint team to investigate disappearance of Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi. Now the news in detail. Britain has acknowledged Pakistan's extraordinary achievements in countering terrorism. These sentiments were expressed by the British leadership during talks with Chief of Army Staff Kam- Kamar Javed Bajwa, who is in London on an official visit to the UK. The Army Chief met Britain. Chief of Defense Staff Sir Nick Carter, the Secretary of State for Defense Special Representative for Afghanistan and Pakistan and the National Security Advisor. During interactions, the British leadership also lauded the improved security situation in Pakistan. In his remarks, the Army Chief said Pakistan is moving steadily towards enhanced stability. He expressed confidence that Pakistan-UK security relations and in other fields of common interests will grow further to the benefit of the two countries. The SEO leaders held a meeting with Tajik President Imam Ali Rahman in Dushanbe today. The meeting was held on the sidelines of 17th Council of Heads of Government meeting of Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi was also present in the meeting. The SEO leaders discussed overall regional and international matters of mutual interests. The SEO leaders also discussed the ways and means to enhance cooperation amongst the member countries. A Turkish delegation headed by Deputy Foreign Minister Yavuz Selim Kiran called on Chief Justice of Pakistan Mia Saqib Nassar in Islamabad today. On the occasion, Mia Saqib Nassar said both Pakistan and Turkey enjoy cordial relations rooted in common culture, social values and faith. The Chief Justice also briefed the delegation about judicial system of Pakistan. A meeting to discuss the problems faced by overseas Pakistanis will be held in Islamabad today. It will be chaired by Prime Minister Imran Khan. Information Minister Fawad Chaudhry visited Lokwersa Museum in Islamabad today. The officials of Lokwersa briefed the minister about the museum. Canvassing by the contesting candidates for the bipoles to be held on Sunday concludes at midnight tonight. The candidates are making last-ditch efforts through corner meetings and door-to-door campaigns to garner the public support. The by-elections will be held in 11 National Assembly and 24 Provincial Assembly's constituencies. Election Commission of Pakistan has finalized arrangements to conduct the by-election in a free, fair and transparent manner. In occupied Kashmir, complete shutdown is being observed today to pay homage to martyred eminent scholar Manan Wani. The joint resistance leadership comprising Sayyid Ali Gilani, Mirwais Umar Farooq and Muhammad Yasin Malik in a statement has paid great homage to martyred PhD scholar and his associate Ashik Hussain Zargar. Dr. Manan Wani and Ashik Hussain Zargar were martyred by Indian troops during a cordon and surge operation at Shakund in Handwara area of Kupwara district yesterday. United States says the reports about India's buying of Russian S-400 missile defense system and purchasing Iranian oil are not helpful. This was stated by U.S. State Department spokesperson at a regular briefing in Washington. Earlier, President Donald Trump said India would soon know Washington's response to its deal for the missile defense system with Russia. Turkey and Saudi Arabia have agreed to set up a joint team to investigate the disappearance and killing of Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi. In Uganda, 
At least 31 people have been killed when a landslide rolled down the slopes of Met Elgon in eastern part of the country. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log in on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash Radio Pakistan News Official.